Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jake with HookahDomain.com and Abby. This is Brian with Allen Knife and Cigar. And uh, we're here smoking some Sky's Exotic Wildberry. Did you see the, uh, the can here? This is Sky's Tobacco. Um, the first thing you see, probably when you see this can, the first thing you think of is Starbucks knockoff. Well, I'll tell you what, this is definitely a Starbucks knockoff, you know, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> The can is identical to Starbuzz. Um, only thing different is the label in, in small ways. The, the logo on the top is very similar to Starbuzz's. It has a purple label here. And uh, pretty much everything about it, even the bag on the inside, is, is very similar to Starbuzz. Even the font is very similar as well. Um, the, uh, the people that make this is actually Alamir, the same people that make Alamir tobacco. Um, and Ar Arabica, Arabica. They also make that as well. Uh, from what my research tells me, this used to be called Skybuzz Tobacco. Um, and apparently they changed the name uh, basically to avoid copyright infringement with Starbuzz. Um, I've also heard rumors that this the person that makes Sky's Tobacco was originally working with Starbuzz Tobacco, left the company and made their own uh, to compete with Starbuzz. Uh, but as far as the cut goes and the this, the the texture and everything like that and the color, it's very similar to Starbuzz. Uh, very, very, very similar. Um, smell is very close to the wild berry from Starbuzz. Um, you really can't get any closer to Starbuzz um, without paying the $22 retail value for a can of it. Um, so basically, to talk a little bit about the Skies wild berry, it uh, smells a lot like wild berry from Starbuzz. Um, cut is the same, like I said, but the, the, the smell is very similar to wild berry from Starbuzz. Maybe a little different in a way, which I really can't pinpoint what exactly that is. Um, strong. Not as strong. Definitely doesn't smell as strong. The, 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 I noticed with all the skies here, we have about six cans here. And Brian from Outland was nice enough to bring these by for review, and, or bring this by for review. We smoked a few different flavors. Um, and uh, basically the smell again, Video, but uh, it's, it's it's like Starbucks's wild berry, but not as strong, not as flavorful. It's very nice, though. very nice though. Um, as far as the cut, just like Starbucks. As far as the flavor goes on this particular flavor, Sky's wild berry, exotic wild berry. What's I would have to agree. It is. Um, it's about as close as real Starbucks that you're gonna get. Um, it is a little bit milder than regular wild berry, but. Um, I mean, for the price difference, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely something you might want to try. Yeah, the retail on a, a can of Starbucks is between $20 and $25, whereas the retail on a can of Skies is going to be about $15. Uh, is that what you sell for the store, about $15? $14.95. $14.95, plus remember, if you come to our uh, meet and greet here uh, next Sun this Sunday, you'll get it for 20% off on top of that, which is a pretty good deal if you want to try some of this uh, uh, tobacco, this new brand. I'm going to take a hit of that real quick and see sure, what kind of flavor right. I get from it. Very thick, puffy clouds, um, without commenting too much on the clouds yet. But the taste is just, just like wildberry. But imagine if Baja uh, made a wildberry flavor; it'd be, it'd, it'd be very close to this. Um, our setup: we're using a um, Razan uh, Sultan hose. We have a KM ice chiller with a funnel bowl from Tangiers, and three coconut coals on top, aluminum foil, and water in the base. What do you think for the taste? It's good. It's very light. Very mild, very light taste. Um, but it is also, again, I mean, if you want to looking for a, a wild berry type flavor without spending that kind of money from Starbucks, it's as good as it's going to get. As far as clouds, it does put out very thick, white, puffy clouds. Um, even with, with the coals dying like they were earlier before we threw some more on there, the clouds were still kind of billowing out, which was nice. Um, nice, thick, puffy, white clouds and probably identical to Starbucks clouds. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give the Skies Tobacco um, probably a 7.4 out of 10. Um, Sounds weird. It doesn't really quite deserve a 7.5, um, but uh, from what I smell from the other flavors, I mean, the Skies definitely has potential. It definitely has the potential to be a very, very, very good uh, brand of tobacco. Um, but a 7.4 is what we're going to get this particular tobacco. Um, we'll have another video here in the next couple of days with more about the, the uh, event. But I wanted to go ahead and remind you guys that on Sunday, October 19th, from noon to 6 o'clock in Orange Park, Florida, 
uh, Outlet Knife and Cigar in the Orange Park Mall. We'll have our HD meet and greet, our first annual HD meet and greet, which we're going to try to do more often. Uh, we'll have ladies there giving away flyers, um, free boxes of coconut coals, uh, one per member. We have uh, tobacco, hookah hookah, Fantasia, um, a bunch of samples we're giving out. We're giving out hundreds of posters from uh, Sahara Smoke Company and hookah hookah and hookah freak. Um, we should have Sahara Smoke Company there at the event with us. We should have Hookah Depot, which is a vendor. They should be there at the event with us. I believe we're going to have um, the people from which lounge is uh, Culture? Culture? Culture Lounge. They should be They should be there. And then we're going to have probably 50 members or so from Hookah Main at the uh, event. We're just going to hang out, talk hookah, you know, have little contests here and there. We have free snacks and drinks for everybody. But it's basically a lot of fun. And don't forget that if you've been waiting to buy some tobacco and, and, and hookahs and whatnot, you're going to get 20% off at this event from Outlet Knife and Cigar. So your already low prices, you know, you already get the 10% off of them. Well, this day you're going to get 20% off. Make sure when you come in that you do mention your uh, hookah domain username. Um, that way we can make sure, verify that you are a member and we'll get you a name tag. That way you'll be able to benefit from all the freebies and things like that that we're giving away. But just want to remind you guys, if you haven't rsvp yet, you can do it on the events page um, on hookahdomain.com. Make sure you RSVP. Um, and anything else you want to mention? I want to remind you guys about the KM hookah that we're having the drawing for. Um, it's $10 per ticket or 3 for 25 Uh You can buy them all the way up until the end of the event, which will be like 6 o'clock on right. Sunday. Right, definitely. So 6 o'clock on Sunday, we're going to have the drawing for the KM triple pair. Uh, it's black, and Alvin Knife and Cigar is going to raffle that away at the event, too. So if you haven't bought a ticket yet, you can do it uh, with Brian via PayPal. Just message him, or you can uh, uh, just buy your ticket at the event and um, basically uh, have a chance to win your really nice hookah. But uh, as far as that, we'll look forward to seeing you guys all there. Uh, it will be definitely a good time. Get a good chance to meet all your local hookah domain members. We have a few people flying away from, like, people coming in from Massachusetts, Colorado, Louisiana. So we're looking forward to everybody coming out and meeting us. And uh, afterwards, we're going to come back and hang out here at my place and have a little sm smoke session until about 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Uh, but until next time, this has been Jake. Hi. And Brian. With You guys keep smoking.